you have cracks on the interior and exterior of your home? Or does it slope, creating this feeling that you're falling? Or maybe you've even fallen in your home. You might be wondering, how much is this gonna cost and will I be paying to fix this till the day I die? Everyone has this question when it comes to construction and you deserve to have a nice and safe looking home. This video is gonna let you know the cost of a foundation helical pier system, what is included in that price, and what an average helical pier foundation repair project costs. Hi guys, my name is Justin with Dullinghouse Construction. In this video, you will learn about how much helical piers cost. The average general contracting cost for a pier in Southern California ranges anywhere from $2,100 all the way up to $3,000. Helical piers have been around since the dark ages. They are a tried and true methodology for fixing sinking foundations. Here at Dollinghouse Construction, we offer piers with or without a depth clause. Piers without a depth clause will run $250 more per pier due to unknown depths. Piers with a depth clause will be cheaper, but you run the risk of additional costs with additional installation depths. Those costs are about $75 per linear foot beyond the first 21 feet that are included. Helical piers are priced based on three things. Number one, the size of the helical pier material. Number two, the depth that the helical pier needs to be installed. And number three, the access to the areas where the helical piers are gonna be installed at. The truth is, size does matter. Helical piers come in all different shapes and sizes. The general rule of thumb is the bigger the pipe and the bigger the cost. Helical piers are classified on the diameter of the pipe that the helicals are welded to. Larger helical piers, such as the three and a half inch all the way up to 24 inch diameter, will carry a higher material cost as the pier goes up. The larger piers require larger equipment to install them, and larger equipment requires more room to navigate and garner access. Almost all residential projects require two and seven eighths inch helical pier material. These helicals have a load capacity of about 74 kips, which is 74,000 pounds in layman terms. The insulation depth of each of these piers also plays a major factor in the pricing. Just like with size, the deeper the depth, the deeper it bites into your pocketbook. For example, the pier needs to be installed at a depth of 40 feet to achieve the desired load capacity versus 20 feet. There will be an increase in price due to the cost of the additional 20 feet of material. We promise, construction companies aren't trying to hit oil. It's imperative we reach competent depths that will support your home or business for years to come. It's imperative to have enough access for the piers to be installed properly. Creating this access also plays a factor in the price. Depending on the required equipment and the drive head necessitated to reach to the desired depth and torque values, the price may go up. Bigger batter helical piles require bigger and batter equipment. Larger helical piles translate into larger areas required to install them. Occasionally, we'll need to rent cranes to get the correct equipment into and out of the limited access areas. Crane rentals aren't cheap. Otherwise, I'm sure we'd see a whole lot more birthday parties hoisting big, huge pinatas. We're talking $1,200 to $2,500, depending on the size of the crane needed and how long the crane will be required to be on site. So you might be wondering, how do I figure out how much this is gonna cost me? First, you will wanna find out how much linear feet of the home is affected. Then multiply that by about $400 which is the cost per linear foot roughly. This will be your estimate. So for example, you have 30 linear feet that are affected. You'll multiply that 30 feet by 400, which will give you roughly $12,000. Then you'll wanna add in engineering costs, which is usually about four grand, and now we're at $16,000. But we still have to add permits, which can range anywhere from 750 to about $3,000, with an average of about $1,000. So if we add everything together, we're now sitting at about $17,000. Now, this is an estimate and it's only an example. If you'd like to get your free quote, please click the link below or give us a call. Thank you for watching the video and if you have any questions, please check out our blog, a bunch more of our videos, or give us a call directly.